This is Christopher John Bjorkness. It is April 5th, 2024. There are many hugely important events taking place all over the world. I'd like to break them down. And uh, like I always say, if you really want to understand geopolitics, take a look at a map and then you'll see why the players are positioning themselves, where they are and what the probable outcome of what they're doing will be. A lot is going on with Macron and France. Macron was a Rothschild banker when uh, Putin surrounded Ukraine with his troops. Macron embraced, warmly embraced Putin and sought uh, appeasement and um, wanted to capitulate to Putin. So Macron is a dirty player. He is now pretending to oppose Putin and he is setting up NATO to uh, put forces into Ukraine to fight Russia. That is being done so that NATO's forces can be divided. That frees up the United States. Macron explicit, explicitly stated that uh, the U.S. need not get involved if France, Germany, Poland, uh, Finland, uh, Lithuania start to uh, fight the Belarusians and the Russians. Uh, the continental uh, European forces together with the U.K. will be able to take care of Russia, which uh, is certainly true unless they sabotage themselves from within. And ostensibly, this is being done because they want to get this done while Biden is still president and they want to sway the election to favor Biden because the American people will be uh, more reluctant to elect Trump if we're in the middle of a NATO conflict. Uh, in the Civil War, the old cliche was you don't want to change horses midstream when you're fighting a war. And that's how they got Lincoln reelected. That may well be how they're going to try to get Biden reelected. And uh, if they're unsuccessful, they're ostensibly doing this so that this war is a commitment that Trump will face and he will not be able to undermine and sabotage NATO as easily if a hot conflict is already taking place. So it is uh, Monsieur Macron who is uh, setting this up. And again, this is a complete uh, volt face. Um, he did a 180 from his initial complete support and embrace of Putin. So uh, this is all obviously being set up. Another interesting thing is uh, Macron abandoned all of the French colonies without a fight, and he uh, has become the ally of Armenia. And uh, this gets very interesting as Israel is artificially manufacturing a war with Iran because Armenia and Iran are allies. Armenia recently lost uh, some territory to Azerbaijan, which is a strong ally of Israel. Israel has air bases in Azerbaijan, which can be used to attack Iran. Israel has sold tens of billions of dollars worth of armaments to be used against Armenia and against Iran. Uh, Azerbaijan is divided with the Nakhchivan province here. This uh, region here is uh, the Sinuk province of Armenia, and Azerbaijan would like to steal that. It calls it the Zangazor Corridor. It calls Armenia Western Azerbaijan, and they want to create a pan-Turkic empire extending all the way from Hungary to Turkey to Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and so on. All of the uh, Turkic peoples unite them as one and uh, eliminate and commit another genocide against the Armenians. Again, this has been a, an Israeli ambition for uh, more than a thousand years. They call the Armenians the Amalekites. So it's very interesting that Macron is leading the alliance in Ukraine and Armenia, especially given that Ukraine has also been arming Azerbaijan 
against Armenia and has encouraged NATO to allow uh, natural gas to flow from Russia through Azerbaijan to the West. So this is all a series of dirty deals. But what is being arranged, again, is for uh, France to lead the NATO forces of continental Europe and the UK against Russia and then free up the NATO force of the United States to fight in the war against Iran that Israel is ginning up. And Israel is uh, tremendously treacherous. I'll show another example of that in a minute. The Israelis and the Russians conduct frequent false flag operations that they try to uh, scapegoat the United States and primarily the CIA for. And uh, our dirty friends in Israel, who claim to be our allies, even dress up as uh, CIA agents and present themselves as CIA agents so that the United States gets blamed for their machinations. Uh, Russians do similar things and have always done similar things, but at least the Russians don't pretend to be our allies like the Israelis. And one of those operations was uh, this Sistan and Baluchistan insurgency, which involves these uh, Baluchi people who... Um, who uh, are being set up in the east of Iran to draw the Iranians away from Israel and Azerbaijan. Uh, it began in 2004 and is part of the wider Balochistan conflict, which the Israelis set up so that Pakistan and Afghanistan will also attack Iran at the same time that Israel attacks Iran. And uh, they are really dirty dealing people. Claims of Central Intelligence Agency CIA support were debunked by a subsequent investigation showing that the CIA had barred even the most incidental contact with Jundala. The rumors scapegoating America for what Israel had done. The rumors originated in an Israeli Mossad false flag operation. Mossad agents posing as CIA officers. What kind of dirty people do that and at the same time claim to be your ally? The rumors originated in an Israeli false flag operation. Mossad agents posing as CIA officers met with and recruited members of Jundala in cities such as London to carry out attacks against Iran. President George W. Bush went absolutely ballistic when he learned of Israel's actions, but the situation was not resolved until President Barack Obama's administration drastically scaled back joint U.S.-Israel intelligence programs targeting Iran and ultimately designated Jundala a terrorist organization in November 2010. Although the CIA cut all ties with Jundala after 2007, Zahedan uh, bombings, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and United States Department of Defense continued to gather intelligence on Jundala through assets cultivated by FBI Counterterrorism Task Force. Uh, Officer Thomas McHale, the CIA authorized a 2008 uh, trip, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it is vital to um, to understand that Israel is working against us and setting us up to be destroyed. Uh, the, the CIA issued many reports saying that uh, they had the ability to pose as Palestinians to create false flag attacks that would draw in the U.S. They have done that with Hamas. We have no need whatsoever to be involved in any of their conflicts. They are our enemy. We should instead be siding against the people that they are attacking, uh, siding with them against Israel instead of siding with Israel against those that Israel is uh, aggressively attacking instead of setting about to um, exterminate. 
It is vitally important for the American people to understand this. And this is why uh, these dual citizen Israelis pose such a national security threat to the United States. The worst spy ever in the U.S. was Jonathan Pollard, who is now a celebrated hero in Israel. Israel attacked the United States in the USS Liberty attack. They are our enemy. They have given our missile technology to uh, China. They are working with the Chinese. They are working with the Pakistanis. They are working with the North Koreans and the Russians to destroy us. And they are setting us up to wage these self-consuming wars on their behalf. And they have now divided NATO so that the U.S. can be drawn away from Europe and to Iran and to China so that uh, the Leviathan forces of the Atlanticists, as they are being subverted from within, will be consumed by the behemoth forces of Russia, China, North Korea, and Israel. But the U.S. is also being staged to be free not only to fight Iran, but to fight China uh, for the benefit of Taiwan. Japan will get involved. North and South Korea will go at it. So uh, they want to seal up the Malacca Straits and isolate China, and they're going to need very powerful U.S. forces in order to do that. But at the same time, uh, they are depleting America's military stocks by giving them to Ukraine and giving them to Israel. So America is being weakened. Uh, the Russians are leading balkanization and separatist movements in the United States to pit us against ourselves and balkanize us so that uh, China and Russia, uh, Mexico and South America can um, slowly start to accumulate American territories and destroy us as we are also being destroyed from within by an invasion uh, uh, not just uh, of Mexicans, but also of Chinese, people from Africa, people from Central and South America. So America is being sabotaged from within and without. Uh, these separatist movements have also been set up in Iran by the Mossad in order to draw the Iranian forces to the east of Iran and away from Israel and away from Azerbaijan. So part of the deal of Macron becoming the new ally of Armenia is to keep Armenia from ever trying to help Iran. Armenia was sabotaged from within by uh, Pashinyan, who uh, capitulated and gave up Artsakh, uh, Nagorno-Karabakh, to Azerbaijan without a fight. Uh, he thereby sabotaged any help that could have been given to Iran to uh, help preserve Artsakh uh, in its uh, historic um, Armenian population. And um, that was another dirty deal. Those people were abandoned and betrayed and ethnically cleansed. Azerbaijan now controls that territory. And if a hot war uh, takes place between Israel and Iran. Azerbaijan will be key in that hot war. And um, Macron, while ostensibly helping Armenia in its defenses, is also there to discourage Armenia from retaking Artsakh in the event of that conflict and from providing any assistance to Iran, both by fighting uh, Azerbaijan and by providing Iran with access to territories from which they can launch attacks against not only Azerbaijan, but the Israeli forces stationed in Azerbaijan, and also to uh, interrupt any Israeli flights. They want to uh, fly to Azerbaijan uh, and uh, launch attacks from there, but primarily they want to fly and launch attacks against Iran and then refuel in Azerbaijan and fly back to Israel and uh, keep this cycle going of attacking Iran. So again, they have set up a, uh, a uh, separatist movement in eastern Iran. 
uh, that involves Afghanistan and Pakistan and has been generating animosities between Afghanistan and Iran and between Pakistan and Iran. So they want to keep Iran, Armenia, and uh, India, which is obviously in conflict with Pakistan, from ever uniting to come to the defense of Iran. They want to completely isolate Iran and then take these countries out one by one. After Iran is destroyed, they will uh, destroy Armenia, and that will be Azerbaijan's reward for helping them to destroy Iran. And the, uh, again, NATO is being divided so that the U.S. can utilize its forces not to fight against Russia per se, but instead to fight against Iran. And of course, NATO forces, uh, the continental European NATO forces could easily wipe out the uh, Russian forces in Ukraine. Uh, Russian forces can't even defeat the Ukrainians, who are a much lesser army, let alone uh, the continental Europeans and the uh, British unless they are subverted from within and unless Russia resorts to utilizing weapons of mass destruction, chemical weapons, biological weapons, and nuclear weapons. So this also uh, emboldens China because and North Korea because then the NATO forces are tied up fighting Russia, which opens up this theater of war uh, for China to take Taiwan, the Philippines, uh, Australia, and uh, Indonesia. They want to take a big chunk of India to gain access to the seas. And uh, we're being set up. All of this is being set up to divide NATO forces to fight for the benefit of Israel instead of for the benefit of the Europeans and the Americans. Uh, the Russians and the Israelis are concurrently creating separatists and balkanization movements throughout the European countries. They are flooding them uh, with an invasion of um, illegal immigrants. They're making it illegal to speak out against that. They uh, are changing the demographics and um, the ethnic and religious nature, historic nature of the European countries and of America so that we are all divided and fighting amongst ourselves instead of being able to defend ourselves from uh, the global communist empire of Russia, China, North Korea, and Israel. Uh, South America is also heating up. They are uh, playing a lot of games with Venezuela and Argentina, which is now run by a Chabadnik Israel first president. And uh, they're trying to create all kinds of tensions throughout Brazil, tensions throughout Africa. And um, so that's where these things are headed. So I specifically wanted to point out how uh, the former Rothschild banker of France is central to a lot of what is taking place. He is setting up NATO to enter into Ukraine to fight Russia, but only the continental European and United Kingdom forces of NATO so that the U.S. can go at it with Iran for the benefit of Israel. He has uh, controlled or asserted some control in Armenia in order to separate Armenia from Iran. At the same time, Iran is being uh, set up with a separatist movement to balkanize eastern Iran and to generate a war between Iran and Pakistan and Iran and Afghanistan with the uh, Baluchi, Baluchi people who are controlled by Mossad. So there is this artificial region um, that has been created of the Balochi people 
in eastern Iran. Uh, they have been led to create a separatist movement the same way that Kurds in Turkey were led to create a separatist movement so that Iran is engaged in a civil war. But they also uh, utilize this people, which extends across the borders into Afghanistan and Pakistan, to create tensions because the group is a terrorist organization led by Mossad. And they wage attacks on Pakistan from Iranian territory. And they wage attacks on Afghanistan from Iranian territory. And then they concurrently wage attacks from Afghanistan onto Iranian territory and from Pakistani territory into Iranian territory. And then that pits the nations of Iran against Afghanistan and against Pakistan. And that is going to lead uh, Iran to be forced to fight in the east, away from Azerbaijan, which is Israel's biggest ally in the region, and away from Israel. And that will draw the U.S. forces to come and fight Iran to keep the uh, Persian Gulf open so that all the forces of Iran are drawn into this region well, Israel maintains a strong base in Azerbaijan and can attack Iran from the northwest and from the west as Iran is drawn away from Israel to fight conflicts over here. And NATO is also being divided. Uh, they are dividing, drawing a wedge between European NATO and American NATO at the same time that they are trying to generate conflicts between NATO and Russia and uh, the U.S. and China, and they are succeeding. So uh, that's how they're setting us up. I want to uh, thank my donors who made this presentation possible. And um, thank you, Carolus, Norbert, Umberto, Gregory, Bob, Lance, Bosma, Angelina, Jerry, Jeannie, Barry, Ali, Ryan, Carolina, Anisha, Kelly, Mark, Robert, Kevin, Gary, Elton, John Garitis, Paul, Oliver, Wilson, George, and Alan Greenspun.